Hi, I'm Kei. I live in Tokyo. I've been a mobile app software engineer for the past 10 years. Recently, I released my first React Native Expo app called Word Camera for CrossFit and Hyrax. That's fully built through pipe coding. What made the project smooth wasn't only AI, it was the time I spent on the app spec. In this video, I'm gonna talk about why writing a clear spec and focusing on MVP are critical, even when coding with AI. What spec means for me? Spec is more than a feature list. It's a written design for your app's logic, flow, and purpose. It defines the problem to solve and target users the core flow that delivers value, which features are essential now and which can wait. Let me talk about writing the spec in Kilo. I use Kilo, Amazon's AI IDE, to write the spec. Kilo starts with interviewing you and then proposes many features. It's generous, but not minimal. Here's where MVP thinking is key. Don't accept every suggestion, even if they sound exciting. Adding too much early makes AI projects complicated and delays release. For example, Kilo suggested community feature for what camera. It sounded great, but I registered and removed it. I decided to release simple version first, then add some advanced features later. That decision kept the project fast and realistic. Why I switched to crawl the code? for implementation. Kilo's spec creation tools are amazing. They help structure ideas clearly, but its coding performance felt unstable and sometimes buggy. Since Kilo uses crawled Sonnet models internally, it was more efficient to move direct to crawled code for development. So my workflow became write and refine spec in Kilo and then implement the bug and release using crawled code. This combination gave me the best of both worlds, structured planning and stable coding. So by the way, why the spec matter? AI can't build what you haven't clearly imagined. A detailed spec prevents miscommunication with the AI. You will spend less time rewriting prompts and fixing wrong outputs. In Vibe coding, your spec is a manual for your AI code developer. So how it works in what camera? My spec defines the essential scope, OSHI alpha white board workout, and no sign-in, no complex community. Because of that clarity, I finished the first release in about three weeks, working only two hours a day. The result was stable, focused, and useful from day one. This must be the takeaway for you. Taking time saves time. Writing a spec might feel slow, but it accelerates your development. Each clear decision in this spec saved hours of AI debugging later. So slow thinking, fast building. That's a real reason of vibe coding. So finally, this is advice for indie developers. Spend time defining your MVP. Don't let AI overbuild for you. Separate planning and execution if needed. So remember, the clearer your plan, the more powerful your AI partner becomes. To wrap up, my biggest lesson this time is coding fast start with thinking slow and shipping small. MVP focus plus clear spec equal a faster, calmer, more successful release. So take your time with the spec. Your future self will thank you about it. So that's it today. I also tend not to make a spec, but start with coding. But uh, if you make a spec first, it will save your time. That saved my time a lot. So it sounds detour, but definitely you should do this. So like this video in this channel, I'm gonna talk about app development things. Not only coding stuff, but also how to make an idea for the app, how to differentiate the app, how to do marketing, how to get a higher place in the app store, and how to monetize it. Yeah, even I talk about computer science stuff. So for your future success of the app, keep watching my YouTube channel and subscribe my YouTube channel. And uh, I just made a newsletter link in the below. It hasn't started yet, but uh, I'm going to start this newsletter from the end of the year. So if you want to get more information about app development, please subscribe the newsletter below as well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.